What sort of things are you going to try to do this year to try to fill in the gaps um, that they had in terms of production last season? Yeah, I think that the DS group has been nice with the addition of Maddie and Lexi and the returners. Um, like I said, we've got a lot of different um, styles of players. That was one of the things that was really great about Abby. You know, two years ago she was a setter, and then last year she uh, filled in as a three rotation DS and did a really good job in server seat for us. So, you know, having more depth in that position has helped us kind of uh, cover some of that. You know, Lizzie, I think the thing we'll miss the most is her leadership. She went about her business really well and uh, you know she was really calm influenced in the locker room and I've talked to the captains about how they need to try to fill that void and I think they're doing a good job with that but it's funny um, I've been in the locker room for some team meetings and she's still around um, she's over in London um, and uh, she's gonna try to go play and, and get an education over there but uh, she's still FaceTiming with all the girls she's still pretty close to the program uh, in terms of um, uh, the players that went on the foreign tours um, like how did you hear about the news and um, how, I guess, how did it feel to have Maryland represented so, um, I guess, like, have, have such a large representation yeah. going forward? Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. At the Jack Litch Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacklet Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm, and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. It's fair, you know, it's, uh, it's an interesting process. So the, the first group is you go out to Colorado Springs to try out for one of the USA teams. Um, you know, it was a great story about it. Two years ago, uh, Katie was coming back from a knee injury, and it's something that she really wanted to go to, but obviously wasn't ready to go to. She was still recovering. And uh, I sent her a text message and said, next year you're going to make one of these teams. And uh, she went out, and, uh, you know, she's a hardworking kid. You know, she puts it in. She, she's never afraid to, to, to get in the gym and stay late. And so uh, she was in class, and I found found out the news via uh, contact through USA Volleyball and the debate was should we interrupt her in class or not to let her know and uh, we all thought she was pretty excited so we took that gamble and I think she was pretty excited when she found out. Um, Jada, the Big Ten, was uh, someone we had nominated because we thought it would be a really good experience for her to go um, to see an international level, see a different level of play. Um, someone we knew were hoping to get back up to game speed and, and she had a great experience but then uh, there was a spot available. Some teams in the foreign, sorry, other colleges were on foreign tours, couldn't send as many players as they wanted. Uh, they uh, contacted us to ask what we wanted to do, and uh, I decided this would be a really good addition, <laughs> and she was willing to go. So I wasn't sure if uh, Erica would be interested in, and when I told her, I think you were kind of uh, shocked a yeah. little bit, a little surprised, but uh, extremely uh, thankful and uh, grateful for that, and uh, I thought she did really well.